Okay, so the first thing you want to do in Photoshop is create a new document. And the size of our bookmark is going to be in pixels, 142 for the width. And then you're going to type in 425 for the height. You also would want to change the resolution to 72. And I chose a black background just because the image I'm gonna use matches with it best. You can choose whatever it is that you like. Hit create. And there we have our canvas for our bookmark. Now I'm gonna go ahead to file and open and pull out the picture that I'm going to use. It is a picture of Jon Snow, somebody airbrushed or painted, I can't remember. But um, I did get permission from the artist to use this, not commercially, I use it as a bookmark for somebody. Okay, so I'm just detaching Jon's picture from the thing so I can make it smaller so it's easier to drag and drop onto the canvas that we're using. And now the arrow at the top left corner, you wanna take it, hold it on the picture and drag and drop it into our canvas. And as you can see, John is way bigger. So go to edit, free transform. And here you can adjust the size of your picture if it's bigger um, than your canvas or if um, it's not the size that you already want. Okay, so here I'm just playing around with and adjusting this John Snow picture until I get it to the size um, that I want, that I'm satisfied with for this project, okay? Now once I'm done, I hit the arrow at the top left again and a, a thing pops up and you just wanna hit append. And now I'm unlocking the background over here on the background layer. And then I'm gonna go to layer and hit um, merge visible. Now all of that merge visible flatten image usually do, it does the same thing, okay? Now I'm coming back over to the left toolbar and I'm getting the text tool out, okay? Um, I want to put some text on my bookmark. This is optional. You do not have to do that if you do not want to do that, okay? But I, at the top, I just chose the Game of Thrones font since I have a picture of Jon Snow. Um, and I chose white font since I have a black background. And I just play around with the sizes and um, I have it in the center and just play around with the positioning and things of that nature to get it how I want it to look. Um, eventually, I'm going to end up writing all hell, the king in the north, and then towards the bottom, it'll say long may he reign. And I will speed up the rest of this in just a second because I think everybody is pretty familiar with the text tool in Photoshop if you've ever used it. And you guys I think can pretty this is self-explanatory right here this part and you can figure it out so yeah I'm speeding it up a bit and positioning things the way I want it now the next step um, is you're going to end up merging all of that together again so you're gonna go to layer and flatten image or merge visible whatever um, and if you want a double bookmark meaning the same thing front and back We're, what you're going to do is hit image canvas size and I'm going to change it to centimeters and then double whatever's in that so it's going to be 10 and then also hit the middle right arrow button to give us a double canvas size and then I'm going to go back all the way over to the left right click that layer and click duplicate layer and as you can see it duplicates it and you just drag it over um, to the side and it's the same thing and then all you're going to do is save it i usually save my work as pngs you can save it as whatever you want to save it as and next step of course is to print out your project
Now that everything is printed out, you're going to cut off the excess, excuse me, paper on each side of the bookmark there. And once you're done, you just fold it in half and you can either tape it or glue it together. I prefer to laminate it um, just to make it a bit more sturdy. Um, and then I'm again cutting off the excess paper here and you can leave it just like this once you're done um, I wish I had rounded the corners before but I did it afterwards and whatever um, but you can leave it just like that if you want I'm gonna fancy up just a little bit I'm gonna use my crop dial the 3 16 and punch a hole at the top there I'm going to add an eyelet and then I'm just going to add a tassel that I had left over from another project so that is it for this project guys quick and easy i hope it was helpful and yeah i will catch you in the next video thanks for watching bye